Discussion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy we got to the bottom of that. Yeah, me too. Um, uh, uh, Mama, did I tell you I love you today? You sure did. We literally just went through a whole conversation about saying I love you. Oh, oh no, but I love, love, love you. Okay, ma'am. What do you want? Why would you ever so think that I want something, mama? Because your lip is doing that twitching thing and your head is doing this, what, whatever it does when you want something. See? Oh no, mama, that was just my lip lipping and my head bobbing a little bit. Okay, well since it's nothing, I'll see you later. Oh, oh, oh wait, mama. Uh, uh, while you're here, I wrote a beautiful poem for you. That's so sweet. So you didn't really want anything and you do love your mama. Of course. And guess what? What? It's National Love Mama Day. Oh. You know what? You are being way too cute for me. Okay, go for it. I'm excited to hear what you wrote. <laughs> okay, uh, let me show you what I got. Okay. Life, life, life. It's full of ups and downs, but forgiveness is the secret and love is the blanket. Love covers anger and should make you factor that made it happen for a good reason. Yes, I took your lipstick and played dress up with my dolls, but that was the past and shouldn't count towards my flaws. Yes, I painted on the walls, but it was to create a masterpiece to make you say all. Oh, one last thing. Remember those ants that invaded the house? I dropped my ant farm and let them all out. Remember who's your favorite, though? And this cute little smile. I love you. And that's about all. <laughs> so I was thinking ice cream. Are you serious? You want to talk about ice cream and you just told me. Oh, don't worry, Mama. Remember. Love. Love my foot. Coco, this cannot be real. Uh, well, about which part? All of it. You had the nerve to elegantly write me a poem to tell me about all the things you've done wrong. Well, you always taught me to be honest, and I figured if I wrote a poem, you would see how much effort I put in, and you would be proud of me. Do you know how long it took to get those ants out the house? Yes, uh, approximately two weeks, but um, there's actually one on you now, so we may not have got them all out. Stay out my makeup bag. And what wall did you paint on? Uh, um, the, the one in the basement that you barely see. I remember that you said you wanted something pretty and unique, so I wanted to make that happen for you, but I made sure I made it pretty and it's extra quiet. I'm upset with you, but I appreciate your honesty. You're grounded for three weeks and you're painting the wall back white. You, you don't want to see it for us? Zip it. Now, is there anything else you need to get off your chest? Um, I, I just wanted to say I love you. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Sometimes I get lonely 
and I wish I had someone to play with. Ari and Rhea say I'm a baby and they never want to play. That's fine. I don't want to play with them anyway. They are some big old meanies with big old... Hey, Coco Pups, what are you up to? Are you ready to start your day? Uh, just about. I'm just writing to express my emotions. Oh, is everything okay? Everything is fine, I guess. Mama, why did you have Ari and Rhea a year apart and you had me so much later? Well, your dad and I needed a little break. You know, having children is fun, but it is a lot of work. We wanted to establish a few more things, and that's when we decided it was time to have our little Coco. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. Coco, you are still just as special as Ari and Rhea. I know, but they never want to play with me. They just brush me off and they tell me they're too old to do sort of things. Oh, Coco, trust me, your sisters love you. They're just outgrowing certain things as they get older like you will one day. Yes, I know, but if you would have had me only like a year later, I would be outgrowing certain things now too. I just wish I had another me my age that we could play all day. Oh, that would be fun, yet wild and a lot. <laughs> Let's just stick with one of you, okay? And how does this sound? I will play with you after I finish getting some work done. Okay, all day, every day? Now, Coco, you know that's impossible, but I will start setting aside playtime for me and you. I'll take Mama. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome, Coco Puffs. I'll be back shortly to check on you. Okay, Mama. How to make a twin in less than 24 hours. Oh, I hope this works. I just really wish it was two of me. If there's two of me, then we could play all day. And then, Mama Daddy have to set aside time. Abra, Kadabra, Kazabra, Kadabra. Hmm. Didn't work. <sighs> okay, one more time. Abra. Kazabra, Kadabra, Alakrabra. Uh oh, uh oh, what's happening? Mama! 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 <laughs> oh, was that just a real life earthquake? An earthquake in Chicago? Well, I guess that could happen. <sighs> I would ask mama to have another baby, but then if she has another baby now, then I will outgrow that baby, then I will be too old to play. Oh, life is just so complicated. Hey, you wanna play? Did I just say something? No, cause my mouth stopped moving before, so I know that could have been me. <laughs> no, that's me down here. <gasps> You're me! And I'm you, nice to meet you. I'm Coco too. Your your name is Coco? No, it's Coco too. Spelled C O C O T W O. What? It worked? I made me? <laughs> I guess so. Good job. Okay, now let's play. Mama is gonna kill me. But we have to keep you at this point, right? Mama wouldn't just let an innocent child like me just leave. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that because I traveled a long way to get here. <laughs> You're funny. Almost as funny as me. Okay, what should we play first? Oh, I know. How about we play I Spy? Uh, okay, you, you can sit right there on the floor. Oh, I'm happy you said that. My legs are killing me. Oh, I apologize. Go ahead, get comfortable, Coco, too. I spy with my little eye something that's blue and fluffy. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a hot one. Something blue that's kind of fluffy said. Oh, oh, I got it. My blanket. Bingo. Okay, your turn. Okay. I spy with my little eye something. Uh, the black vent by the door? Wait, what? How did you do that? Was I right? Weirdly, yes. Are you in my thoughts? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, let's play a new game. Oh, okay, well, what's next? 
Do what Coco too says to do. Kind of like follow the leader. Coco, I am finished. <gasps> no, Mama, I can explain. <laughs> no, no, Mama, don't be alarmed. This is Coco too. But how? How are there two? I, I made her so that I can have somebody to play with. What? No, no, that's not how this works. Hi, I'm Coco too. Nice to meet you. You know, you look a lot like my mama. Her name is Ava too. Spell A V A T W O. Um, ma'am, I'm sorry, but you should probably sit down. You look really pale. Yeah, yeah, let, let me do that. Okay. Now that you're here, we were actually just about to play a game, follow the leader, and I just so happened to be the leader. Okay, both of you, twitch your noses. Okay, good job. Next, do the cabbage patch like this. Okay, no, stop. Wait, wait, wait. So you said you're who? Now, 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 Coco too didn't say speak. <laughs> you have to follow the rules. Okay, Coco. Now, take this scarf and tie your mama up. What? I'm not tying mama up. You better, or there will be consequences. It's, it's okay, Coco. You can do it. I'm sure Coco too is just playing. Okay, mama, just put your hands out here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Good job, Coco. Now cut your mama's hair off. Oh! I see she has lost her mind. Musta! Coco, too, you have 30 seconds to get on up at my house. <laughs> and if I don't? I know you're not talking to my mama like that! <laughs> you better leave her mama alone, you big bad! Coco! Are you okay? Coco too tried to have me cut your hair. Okay, okay, calm down. Tell me what happened. I created a clone of me, and she was fun at first, but then she got crazy. I thought it would be a good idea to have two of me. Mama, I don't want two of me. I just want me. Oh, okay. Well, Coco, you're safe, and there's only one of you, okay? Lesson learned, though. Oh, yes. You have to be careful what you wish for and be thankful for what you already have. And that is one of the biggest life lessons that you'll ever learn. Okay, so how about we play that game like I promised? Sounds like a plan. Okay, great. What do you want to play first? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Ready for the library. <laughs> Do you have everything? You know, it's okay to talk, right? I just want you to be quiet when we get to the library. I said at the library. We're not there yet, so you can talk now. So you mean to tell me you're not going to talk at all today? Okay, Coco, we're here. Now remember, you have to be quiet inside the library, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, get, get out, Coco, let's go. Right. All right. Mama, the librarian looks like my teacher. They both wear wigs like you. <laughs> okay, Coco, remember, be quiet in the library. Mom, can you get my book down? Coco, you didn't bring any books. That's why we're at the library for you to find books. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see. Attached. No. Not an ordinary day because Leo got so excited that he ran up to him. Coco, this is a library. You cannot be that loud. We had the talk before you came in here. You said, okay, you got it. And now you're here and you're yelling. They're going to put us out if you keep being that loud. Thank you. Please don't make me have to say it again. You have to be quiet. I'm trying, Mama, but I'm going to tell you this. There is a roach down here. Coco, that is not a roach. 
This a ball of hair. Excuse me, is there a problem? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. She's gonna be quiet. She's gonna be quiet. She's going to be quiet. I, I'm sorry, Miss Liberian mm -hmm. man. What do we? Sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again, right? Right. I'm sorry, Mama. All right, Coco. Are you still gonna cook the food tonight? Yes, I am, Coco. Just be quiet, okay? Okay. Excuse me, this is a library and you can't yes. keep making uh, that much noise. Uh, yes, I, I understand. I am so sorry. You know what? The whole day she has been quiet. She barely made a sound. She barely breathed. But now we're here and she can't seem to zip it. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Mom. I must have left a zipper in the taxi. Yeah, that's all good, but we don't talk in a library. Yes, I completely understand. Right? It will not happen again. Right, Coco? Coco. Did you feed her? Excuse me. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being say one thing in the last hour and that is rare for my overzealous child oh that's just because i've been really focused on what oh just learning how to be a magician oh i had no idea you were interested in doing magic yeah i've been interested for a while since yesterday <laughs> <laughs> well i'm happy to see something is keeping you busy i'll check on you in a few Okay, mama. <laughs> This comes with it, Mama. You have to trust the process. You said you want me to do something new this summer. Ta-da! Something new. I'm doing it. All right, Coco, fine. I mean, I guess it's make-believe anyway, so why not? Mm-hmm. Okay, close your eyes and then listen to my voice. Go ahead, close them. Okay. Kalamazoo Alamadoo. Mama, relax. Don't you say her chill. <laughs> you are about to enter into a new world. You are under the control of my voice. And you know me as Master. Relax, Mama. You're slowly drifting. Just trust Master. I am going to tell you something to do, and you must do it without question. Do you understand? Yes, Master. Good! Quack like a chicken. <laughs> oh, you're good at this. Okay, go ahead and bark like a dog. Yes, Master. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, go ahead and moo like a cow. Mm. Mm. Give Master Coco your car keys. Yes, Master. Oh, no. 
no, no, mama, I'm only nine. I can't drive. I was just playing. That's just a test. Okay, here we go. Say, Coco is your favorite child and start to brag about her, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead, start. Yes, master. Coco is my favorite child. She is an angel. She can do no wrong. She is my most favorite child ever. so that they can confirm and know who is Mama's favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mama, this is the last one, and you have to promise to stick to your word, okay? Okay, Master. When you wake up, you must never make Coco do chores again. All chores must be done by Ari and Rhea and any other kids that you may plan to have. Hopefully not. This is a verbal agreement that you must abide by. You have to agree. If you agree, say agree. Agree. Okay. I will now wake you back up and you will be back to your normal self. Kalamazoo Alamadu. Wake, 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 wake up. Are we gonna start yet? <laughs> Mama, come on, we finished already. You did great. <sighs> yeah, right, we haven't even began. Listen, Coco, I have work to get to, so if we're not gonna get started, we'll have to do this later. Mama, I promise you we're done. I guess it's safe to say I did a good job. Okay, now, you always tell me to keep my word. You say, be a lady of your word, right? Yes, I do teach you that, and it's important to do so. And it's not just important for me to do that, right? It's important for you, too. Absolutely. I would never tell you to do something and not practice what I preach. See, you see, that's why you're my favorite mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your only mother. But why are you asking about keeping our word? Well, since you asked, right here we have exhibit <laughs> Exhibit A? Is that me on the screen? That's right. According to this recording right here, you promised to never make Coco, that's me, do chores again. Uh, no, I've never said that, so stop it. hypnosis what why don't i remember any of that well mama your memory starts to fade as you get older but you must be a woman of your word like you tell me and like you taught me go clean the kitchen now and put those books in the garbage but but the video says girl Oh, so, okay, so you want it sparkle clean or just sparkle? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Oh, no. so, mama, tonight I'm gonna watch a scary movie. Oh, no, you're not. Why not? Please, mama, it's this good one that just came out, and it's supposed to be a lot of monsters and stuff, and they're supposed to be biting people's heads off. Coco, you are not about to be staying up all night talking about, I'm scared, can we leave the light on? We're not doing that, no. But every time I watch scary movies, nothing even happens. Nothing happened? How about last time you watched a scary movie, you came into my room acting like you weren't scared, but you were. I let you sleep in the bed and you took it over and kicked me out. Stop playing. Oh, okay now. Okay, Mr. Boogeyman, I'm not scared of you. I was only scared of you when I was seven and three quarters, but I'm eight now. 
that person. <laughs> okay, 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 I quit. I quit. You won. I'm scared. I'm not scared of no boogeyman. Yes, I am. <laughs> Hey, mama, you sleep? Mama! What? Where, where, Coco? What? Did you pee in the bed? No, mama. Let's not bring up the past. Well, I mean, why are you in my room in the middle of the night? Uh, I know sometimes you get scared of the dark, so I wanted to comfort you. Coco, I am not scared of the dark. Uh, okay, well, I am, so scoot over. Coco, no, wait. Okay, come on, little baby, but only for one night. I know, I don't want to have to protect you for more than one night. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, get some rest. Good night. Coco, you have to be still. You messing up my dream. Well, what were you dreaming about that caused you to stab me in my back? About kicking you out the bed so I can get some space. What? So you know what you're doing? You might school over just a little bit more. Come on, I'm already on the edge excuse, of the bed. What's excuse you, me, so, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Get out. Uh, now? Now. Okay. Now. Th that was my past, Mama. You can now hold people's past over their head. I have grown. I am ready. I am ready to face the boogeyman. Well, I don't think the boogeyman is ready to face you, so we're going to hold off a little longer. Fine. I'll just be the loser in my class that everybody's going to talk about because they all are going to see the scary movie except me because Mama said no. And that's fine. You'll thank me for it later. Again, no scary movies tonight, Coco. I'm gonna always say, no, Coco, no scary movie. But I guess she said don't watch scary movie at night. So it's morning time. So guess what, Coco? Oh, watch a scary movie. When there are scary things we don't understand, our minds try to. during the day because you told me don't watch it at night. No! I told you don't watch a scary movie at all, Coco, because you know what happens. You know what happens! Right now, you're screaming and that displays anger and all I need from you right now because I'm scared, really scared, is to console me. That's all. I wouldn't have to if you just listened to what I said before, Coco. So what are you going to do when the nighttime comes? Because you are not kicking me out of my bed again. Well, I was actually thinking that we could just stay in my bed tonight and with the keep, keep, keep the lights on, you know, so that you won't be scared or anything. Absolutely not. I didn't watch the movie, so I'm not scared. Have some compassion. Mama, you knew I was going to watch a scary movie and you never said not to watch it in the morning time. You said, Coco, don't watch it at night. And I did it. Now you just going to leave me in the room by myself. I scared. Okay, Coco. I will sleep in your room tonight, but I need you to understand that this is not real and it's all fictional. You are going to be fine. The boogeyman is not real. He's not coming for you, okay? Oh, yeah, I know. I, know. I was just playing. You know, I'm good. Did, did you hear that? Did, well, did you, can you sit with me, please, just for a little bit? All right, Coco. 
Okay, you okay, mama? Yes, I'm okay. Are, Are you, you okay? I'm okay. You sure you okay? Yes. Okay, cause. <gasps> Hold me, mama. No, no, you got me. Do you got? I need. I need you to got me. I got okay, you. got me. Yes, I got. Hold me. It's just the air conditioning, Coco. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. 